Okay, so, uh, yeah, let's, let's run the clock. What's this again? Is this just more nonsense? Imprisoned by... Okay, who's this? You want me to pay you 20 gold? Uh, I don't need that. I don't really care. You're unlanded anyways. So, I don't really need you. Um... Greetings, my impressive liege. Or known you is dear to me. Blah, 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 blah. Sure. I'll take the gold. Ten gold. Sure. Put it in my pocket. I'll take that. Um... What's this? This is that war against tyranny of Duke Nuno II. I don't know how much longer Nuno II is going to be. I'd say probably less than me. If his health doesn't improve. Well, he's 60. Uh, what's this? Okay, this guy's an albino, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. What am I trying to say here? Alta has his wife under... Uh, one of his children are albino, too. Okay, so he's passing it down. Uh, his siblings, one of his siblings is the head of the Aftasid dynasty, the dynasty, the emirate, excuse me, not the di- I mean, he could be the head of the dynasty. He's the dynasty head. Yeah, there you go. Who's this guy? He's a head of the sheikdom. So there's definitely some confederate partition going on. Let's see where this guy is based in. Okay, so he's right next to the capital region. Um, and you want your child. Ten, bu ten gold. Sure. Is your succession law by any chance male only? Just out of curiosity. Yes, male only. Okay. Uh, that's... That's just what I wanted to know. Let's run the clock here. So, this is definitely the most interesting thing going on in the faction. He's winning by 19%. Not surprised by that. Uh, factions... Guessing no factions, children can't join, and Nuno the second still hates us. How's this going on? Negative three. Trimming the di dynasty. What's the problem with her? She, first of all, she's not even in our dynasty. I mean, it says Jimena. Yeah, I don't know what the game is doing here with like sticking people in our dynasty randomly like this. Like I don't I don't understand what kind of feature this is. Okay, this is Nuno the Second's uh Like what is this? Here's Garcia the Second. This is probably the main line here. Ansa the second. Garcia the fourth. Ansa the third. This is Fernando. Garcia the fifth and Ramiro, which is Aragon, and this is supposed to be the heir. Oh, this is the we were also having problem with Cristina from like some kind of other random uh, dynasty. I don't even see Cristina in here. I didn't see one. Maybe maybe there is someone like somewhere somewhere in here. Here's Sanchu the first Castile. Uh, did you have both? You had Galicia and Lyon. I don't know where Castile came from. Sancho might not be the third because his father has Castile. And Lyon hasn't had Sancho, so he might actually end up being called the second, right? Because this is only counting the uh, main line. Okay, trimming the dynasty. I think this is because of our diplomacy focus. And it's getting a little bit uh, tiresome. Can I switch out of this completely? Mm. I know I'm going to want Marshall when if uh, we start getting a lot of revolts or something, but I'm just tired of this uh, trimming the dynasty stuff. I guess that's the uh, tap out um, switch. Is uh, you know we all have our shorts because I'm I'm just tired of like trying to like disinherit everyone. It's just not try. I mean we got a lot of prestige. That's actually probably one of the main reasons. Marshall impresses vassal mayor, 
Yuan it gained Huan Yuan gained thirty opinion of you for the last five years. For five years, respectful conduct. You gained seventy five prestige. Your marshal's excellent martial skill and what led to this windfall. Who's this ransom? He wants to pay ten gold to me for this person here, who's quick. Nineteen year old. Not bad option if you want to marry her off, or two. You're one of your sons or something. Uh, yeah, sure, ten gold. And her queen, uh, Veni Gomez, left the prison. Sure. Uh, I guess run the clock again. There's nothing else to do. We are not in debt, so we could start looking at. This is your daughter. Fair enough. Kind of actually really sucks for you. Aren't you my friend, actually? We're swayed. Yeah, you were my. F no, you can't be my friend if you were, uh. No, you're only her friend. Which she's your, like, you're related to her. Sheik Fruella. How's. How was. Fruella. How did he get a sheikdom? Is that because he was under a Muslim rule for something? Or, or what happened? Uh, it's probably because Zargoza is now under uh, Islamic rule. So it's now a sheikdom instead of a county. So now he's registered as a sheik. But if this flips back into uh, you know something that's ruled by a Christian realm, it probably won't be called a sheikdom anymore. Um... Yeah, run the clock. This is interesting. We'll want to vassalize this. Oh, gray days. Either we're sick or we're dead. One of the two. A oh, melancholic. That's not good. Um. I mean, to be fair. To be fair, our wife did cheat on us so badly that we got, uh... Hundred piety. I'll take the piety. We're not in debt, so... I can start picking on these guys again. I can't declare war on him for obvious reasons, because he's my ally. Um... A ducal conquest of the county. Uh, what does ducal conquest mean exactly? A cast of belly that allows the seizure of counties that are required to create an uncreated title of Dutch rank. Okay. I, I don't want to say that that's for ducal conquest in case there's some a cooldown or something. Forced vassal. I don't want this guy as a vassal though. I'd rather say, yeah, we're going to war with you for Ducal Conquest purposes. Sheikdom. Gain 75 fame, your allies share 75, blah 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 blah. Okay. Okay, uh, we have no factions against us. I think this is- oh, how's our men doing? Basically recovered because we were running the clock long enough without hitting um, a little bit more recovery. A little bit more on that road rec to recovery, but we've mostly recovered at this point. We're making good cash now. We might want to start considering investing back into ourselves if we actually hunker down a little bit and stop uh, just aggressively. Ex oh, oh, actually, uh, control. Now that I think about it, should we just go for like maximizing control? Or should we just go for like get rid of as many debuffs as possible? I don't know. Uh, I kind of want to go for this. Sheikdom. Get it back. Start pushing Catholicism back to the uh, to the east here. I really want to do that. Um, we're almost fully recharged. So, yeah. 
Shady discussion, ooh. Um, I am passing through the castle gardens of the morning walk when a soft breeze carries the voice of Mumadona and Gontrude to my ear. The two courtiers are talking to each other in a secluded spot nearby, frequently glancing around to make sure nobody's listening. While it is hard for me to make out the most of their words from a distance, it is clear that their discussion relates to Countess Constantia. I must warn Constantia. Mm, no, only if, if only I could get a bit closer. Um, hundred percent. I avoid detection and I learn the subject. I must know what they're hiding. Uh, I'm gonna go for this one. I managed to get closer to the two courtiers without them noticing me. They seem to be discuss. They seem to be discussing Countess Constantia's private life and some unsavory habit of hers. Interesting. Disputed heritage. Okay. Is that it? Okay, can I set the uh, rally point? I can add another rally point. But I wanted to more or less move the rally point over here. And I think I'm going to pull the trigger. I think I'm going to pull the trigger for uh, Duke of Conquest. I gained the contested title. I don't want forced vassalization because I don't want this guy as my vassal, to be honest. So, I hope... Ducal Conquest, you know what? I, I think that's a not bad perk. If you're looking for expansion now that I think about it. We're going to go for Ducal Conquest. It's going to cost me 675 uh, prestige. Since we have no children and Sancho's just going to take over. I'm not actually concerned about Confederate partition. Or, excuse me, partition in general. Um, since there's only a single heir. Pretty much, if we look under here. No uh, titles are going to be lost. Did we make Lyon as a duchy? We did, okay. Um, yeah, let's go for this Ducal Conquest. Um, let's call Jeffrey. We're going to call him France. No, France is not going to accept um, we'll call him Jeffrey, but I don't know if Jeffrey is going to help. Um, actually, we're going to be able to jump in really fast here. Okay. Uh, here we go. Here's our, uh, Holy War. So, uh, uh, Callistus III. Let's see what Callistus III wants. Uh, Christian pilgrims to the Holy Land suffer all manner of abuse, and their routes are often fraught with danger. In order to protect the pilgrims and secure Jerusalem for Christ and the faithful, His Holiness, Pope Callistus III has accepted the possibility of an outright invasion by Christian forces. So Christian faiths have now ac now have access to uh, crusades. Uh, that's not a holy war, though. Oh, I can't actually right-click. Yeah, that's not an outright holy war, but... Uh, King Alfonso of Lyon, of course I shall join you in this war. Our foes shall learn to fear the men of Albarassin. Sign Count Jeffrey of Albarassin. Excellent news. Indeed. Um, actually, vassalization, now that I think about it. You... I guess I can't vassalize an ally. Anyways, I, I, I might be might be because I'm in war, but uh, 300 men, not that helpful, but uh, hopefully he's just going to stick on me. That was really fast. Um, your heir? Okay. He's actually stupid, so that... Uh, Kind of funny. That was extremely fast. Um, I probably should have done that earlier. Um, over my domain limit, that's perfectly fine. Let's grant to someone competent. This guy here, he is a genius. He's not gonna live very long. Actually, if we get him a woman that's younger, um, If we get him a woman, 
he might be he might impregnate her because it's about the female's age not about the male's age he's a genius though which is that which is what matters this is not congenital um but yeah, I actually want to give you... If, actually, let's look at uh, this house here. Yanguas. Yanguas? He's the only person in Yanguas. Um, yeah, let's grant it to that genius lunatic. Yeah. G a genius lunatic is now in charge of Zarag Zarag Zaragoza. Is that a find before? We're going to see how this... Uh, Callistus III's... Uh, what did, what did he say? He can we can now do Crusader Crusades? He didn't call for one because we don't have the thing in the corner. But uh, he said that uh, you can declare one, which I don't know what that means. Okay, we don't have any debuffs, right, for uh, offensive wars? No, that excommunicated is just so BS. From Callistus the Third. I accept your marriage proposal. You're responsible for marrying off like a like. How old is she? Twenty three. And you were you were a household head or something. That's a lot that went into uh, Lyon. It's a pretty round tree. Okay. Okay, well, good thing it's not matrilineal, I guess. It's a good thing it's not matrilineal. Primary heir is me. Well, let's see if you guys can get a child. Hopefully, hopefully a, uh, a genius child. Faction has been created against me. The, um... Moality populists. Yeah, cultural incompatibility plus faith incompatibility. Well, we can uh, try to band-aid that uh, there. And we probably also want to target... Um, you got two years left. We probably... You know what? Alto Aragon. Aragonese is more compatible than... Uh, uh, than uh, what is this thing again? And, and Illusion. It's more compatible than that. So let's focus on uh, stamping out uh, that culture from uh, Zargonzoa. Zaragoza, 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 Zaragoza. There we go. Man, I think I think I'm going backwards with uh, pronunciation. I think I'm getting worse. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's run the clock. We're getting diplomacy perks again. I still th kind of am tempted to switch out of uh, diplomacy, but uh, flexible truces. No prestige penalty for breaking them, that's not bad. If you actually want to break uh, truces over and over again. Uh, we do have uh, two alliances at this point. France is still our uh, one-trick pony with our wife, but that's like... Nah, I don't know if she's going to last in prison for that long, so... She's been holding up pretty good so far, but uh, you know, you never know. Um, probably should look at some of these other ones... Uh, sway. Oh, so, you know what? Sway is. Sway. We actually do swing quite a bit. I don't know why. Probably. I probably should have picked that up earlier. And we probably should switch over to someone who's more angry at us. Because 20, 21 is not amazing, but it's not bad. Um, 67, negative 67. That's worse. Okay, secret exposed. My vassal Count Bella has accused my vassal Count Eniko of having an extramarital affair with his lover Countess Zimena. How could he defile the sanctity of his marriage? I mean, how did my wife, how did my wife defile the sanctity of her marriage with me? You know, the king, Alfonso VI. And then I was the one who got excommunicated by Callistus III. How how did that happen? That I was the one who got excommunicated because my wife cheated on me. I had an extramarital foot and she had a bastard child too. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Calm down. Um Let's see here what what her options are. So I am President Countess uh 
Cantus uh, Zemena, and since I have a fair reason, no one's going to think I'm a tyrant. And uh, Countess Zemena will, I mean, all of Countess Zemena loses 15 opinion to me. I mean, she, she freaking cheated, she freaking cheated on uh, her husband, um, you know, that's illegal in Catholicism. Um, what has happened? Count and Echo, the Heartbreaker, the Heartbreaker. Ah, he's known as the Heartbreaker. Count and Echo, the Heartbreaker of Vizcaya. He grain, he he gained the train of Daltarer, and he lost the level of devotion for faith. He lost thirty opinion of Count Vala for twenty years. He's exposed my because he exposed my secret. You know, good good on Count Vela for exposing this uh, this awful crime. Uh, you know, cheating on your spouse is just absolutely terrible. You shouldn't do that. Um, Countess Toda of Vizcaya lost 60 opinion on Count Eneko for 15 years for being unfaithful, which is a rightful imprisonment, all right? And Eneko is rightfully to be imprisoned for adultery. And 30 opinion has been lost for Countess Semena for 15 years for sleeping with her spouse, which is also a rightful imprisonment. Uh, makes sense that uh, Aniko gets more of the uh, anger that he was actually had the balls to have an extra marital affair and actually fall for it uh, instead of sleeping with his wife. Uh, Count Vela of Sanche Count Vela Sanchez of Monterey uh, loses thirty opinion of Count Aniko for sleeping with their spouse and loses sixty opinion of Countess Zemena for fifteen years for being unfaithful, obviously. And uh, Count Vela can rightfully imprison his wife, which I will. I will take the courage of imprisoning your wife. And uh, Countess Zemena of Monterey gains the trait adulterer. She loses a level of devotion, and she loses thirty opinion of Count Vela for exposing the secret. Well, you know what? You know what? This is this definitely happened, and uh, these she and she's pregnant. And oh my goodness. Eniko the Heartbreaker is also a sodomite. Oh my gosh! And he's and he's he's straight though. He's straight. Like I saw some I saw some of these um, in these Islamic realms some some gay people over there. But this guy is straight, and he sleeps with men. I mean that's that's look rackish. This guy is pretty, uh, a uh, uh, pretty uh, tough spot here. Che cheating on his wife with another woman, apparently sleeping with men while claiming they're straight, going to the brothel all the time to lose stress. I mean, I mean, look, Alphonse the Six is going to the brothel, but uh, at least, at least, at least, Alfonso says he's straight and he sleeps with the woman. Okay. And his wife's in prison, so it makes sense that he goes to the brothel. But uh, you, may, you man, uh, I don't know what you're doing. You have a uh, you have a lisp and you stutter too, so that, that's not helping your case. And he died. Constant uh, Constant Zia has died from complications related to obesity. That's kind of shocking. Why didn't you die? Died of old age. At age 60, that of old age. As a sodomite adulterer. So you basically just slept with the woman and then you died. After that happened. Alright. So actually, Constanzia was uh, our spy master, wasn't she? Nunia the second can be our spy master, but that's a pretty crappy spy master. And if we have our secrets about our murder scheme go around, that's not great. This guy has incredible learning. I just realized that this genius that we put in of uh, Zaragoza, he is pretty good learning. He has not bad intrigue, stewardship, and martial, but his learning is like way better than our Archbishop. Looks like the uh, best we can do is 17. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this idea of putting Nunia the second. He's melancholic, so he's he's probably not gonna last long. I'm melancholic, so we'll see how long I'm gonna last. Cause I'm at 55, so I probably still have like 10 years. I mean, it could be longer than that, but five, 10 years is probably my estimate. 
Let's go for, uh, probably... You're sickly. You're ill. Uh, let's go for the mayor, I guess, then. Just so we have some more stability in the council. I don't really need lovies, so I don't need it. How, the control situation here... Zar Zaragoza is definitely the worst. And uh, Karuna is not doing great either. Your piety situation is not great. Is that your child that's going to be your heir? Oh my god, this is a mess. Why is this in Jimena? Uh, wh why is this game like throwing like all these families like into my dynasty? Like, why is this? <sighs> I don't know if that's a bug or what is that, but like, why is this house Vela? When I open it, it's actually part of Jimena dynasty. Like, why? It's not like these guys are related to me. They're, they're literally just like, this guy's just like randomly shoved in this plate in the tree. Like, why are you in here? Why are these guys in here? Are these guys, hold on here. Can I go back to that uh, screen? Where, why is this, why is this gooey? Here we go. No, if I go back again. Yeah, Navara. Uh, okay. There was, like, another one over here when I clicked on that that was, like, even more ridiculous with, like, names that didn't even seem... Oh, here it is. Okay, that's an Australia... Australianese name, okay? So, yeah. Spymaster died because of obesity. Still a problem today, obesity. So, there you go. I guess we can run the clock. Um, oh, I, I think we should, uh, how's our men's situation? We probably might look into doing another war. We probably should go for a ducal conquest for the sheikdom of Fraga. We have, we have the, uh, the right now. Do I want to destroy a title? I don't really, no, we don't really need to destroy a title. We already destroyed Navarra, didn't we? Or did we, we probably integrated that in our... We integrated that, actually, didn't we? I believe we actually did. Yeah, we did. Aragon is the one. Obviously, we can't make the Kingdom of Aragon. Yeah, that's the one that has the Jure duchies. Or, the the Jure counties in it. But if we say, uh, hey, we're gonna go after, uh, Aragon, uh, we're basically recharged at this point. <laughs> Mir Yusuf? I don't want to vassalize in Mir Yusuf. Um, let's go. We have automatically 25% somehow. It's great. Oh, yeah, we still have a rally point. We should have set the rally point even closer. Uh, let's move this over here. Uh, you're pretty close, so we probably could call you in as well. Jeffrey. Philippe is not going to accept negative one. Although, that is draining your prestige quite a bit. You probably shouldn't have called you in because of that prestige, actually, now that I think of it. Because you're not going to help us with 310. It's just burning prestige. Um, you're basically taking the strategy that these guys should have taken, and that was running away. Uh, let me see if I can try to help you guys, because at this point you're just useless. Uh, far from home, a stranger has brought before me. She has been waiting outside the castle gates for a week. My liege. The woman bows deeply. My name is Ken Kenwa, Your Highness. I have traveled far and wide and seen many things, but I'm very but I am wary of the road. If you allow me to stay, I'll happily share my knowledge of the word. Um, embrace God and this will be your home. Uh, you're not that great, to be honest. You have, like, meh diplomacy. And that's about it. You're a booter, a shari Muslim. Well, if you switch to Catholicism, I guess you can stay. But, uh, I don't really have a use for you. You have a hook as well. I have a hook on you. Um. Uh. Um, are they calling in backup? 
Yeah, from, uh... Is Natten? Is Natten? Let's focus on, uh... Call to War. What is this? Um, sure. We can get this done. Oh, well. Basically, one year uprising. There you go. That uprising was done pretty fast. Let's get these guys out of the way here. Which is their allies. Um, we didn't lose that, did we? No, they lost it. Okay. And let's go get. Let's go after this guy uh, pillaging Zaragoza. They're gonna go back home now. Well, okay. We can do that too. Changing your mind. I'm trying to go to Alta Aragon now, I see. I'm trying to run out of Barcelona. I'm trying to go to France. I think they're going to help you over there in France. This feels like it's a distraction. Um, not really worth it, to be honest. Okay, this is kind of getting ridiculous here. Got actually a uh, lowering cat crown authority. That's not great. Well, Sebastian's dead. Um, yeah, we just lost our chancellor. We're actually losing this battle. That's kind of a shame. I don't know how we lost that, but okay. It's not going to accept the white piece. Can I call in France now? Yeah, we actually need your backup now, France. So you better get on that. Um... Where are these guys going over here? Uh, let's move the rally point to over here then, and then just raise on that spot. Okay, so we're only at 2.6k men, which is definitely lower than what they're at. I'd like France to back me up. Uh, okay, France is sending reinforcements, that's great. Are you kidding me? The, uh, the Liberty, this is the Liberty faction, they want to lower Crown Authority, I'm not lowering Crown Authority, okay, so now we're actually getting some real action now, um, yeah.